Zoro is the most injured character among all the members of the Straw Hats. But you know all the scars and marks Zoro has collected throughout his journey. Will the scar over his left eye be the last mark Zoro will carry until the end of the story? Well, that's what we are going to talk about today. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your Akuma no Mi, and if you're new here my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video here from Anime Joy Boy, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now without further ado let's get to this epic video. And well my dear pirate, because Zoro is a swordsman, he is unfortunately forced to have to fight in a more direct and aggressive way, which ends up causing several scars to our beloved Solator of One Piece, but do you remember how each one of them were made? Well, the first one was during his brief fight against Pirate Buggy the Clown, this occurred at the very beginning of the anime. His second scar was made by Kabaji, the member of Buggy's fleet who hit him in the same place as his captain to take advantage of the old injury Zoro had suffered. His next scars were made by the nails of Sham and Buchi, the cat brothers of the Black Cat Pirate Gang. Now speaking of some of his most famous scars we have the marks he got in his fight against Dracul Mihawk. From this battle Zoro received three blows to the chest, the last one being of his own free will since according to Zoro himself, a swordsman should never have his back marked by a sword. Mihawk ends up admiring Zoro for this gesture of honor. Moving on here folks, we have the two scars on his ankles, which by the way were made by himself in the battle against Galdino, the wax pirate also known as Mr. Three. His next scars were made by another member of the Baroque works, the powerful man Lamina Daz Bones also known as Mr. One. Moving on and we have the scars made in his battle against Own in Skypea and against one of the CP9 members, Kaku. Soon after that we had the time skip where Zoro showed up with a scar on his eye that to this day no one knows how it was done, but well, after that Zoro faced Killer and Kamazo where he received good blows. After that we had Zoro helping out in all the fights in Wano, which means guys, by now Zoro must be completely scarred, so the questions that are left open is, will someone finally be able to scar Zoro's back, and more, will we see more scars on Zoro by the end of One Piece? Especially when we talk about his left eye, but now I want to know what you think, so leave it in the comments. But of course, if you made it this far it's because you liked the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video.